Hello, we are here at New York Comic Con 2019. My name is Kara and I work at Dark Horse in Marketing. We are actually at the Dark Horse booth right now. I am joined by Richard Peeney and Wendy Peeney, who are of course the creators of ElfQuest. Thank you so much both of you for joining us here today. Um, I understand uh, that you just recently arrived at the show today, correct? That is yes. correct. Yeah. Yeah. And do you have a table in Artist Alley this year? No. 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 no, no. We uh, uh, actually we come down here for Dark Horse. Oh, thank you. And we know a lot of people in Artist Alley, and we love them, and they look like they're frazzled all the time. Yes, it's very crowded down there. Um, I tried to go see one artist, and the line didn't move the whole time I was there. Yes. So I think you're smart to to just do signings at at this booth. Um, but yes, they will be signing here at Dark Horse following uh, our chat here today, so you can find them here at our booth. Thank you again for joining us. Um, we wanted to just briefly touch on ElfQuest celebrating quite a milestone last year. Yes. 40 years. 40 years of ElfQuest comics. Congratulations, first of all. Thank you. It's quite an achievement. Uh, your many fans were very excited because you did a tour, correct? To kind yes. of celebrate 40 years? Yes. And it was, it was really exciting because it was an international tour. Uh, we also went overseas to France. Wow. And, uh, did a, a signing tour there as well and met a lot of our European fans. They came from all over. They, they came four and five hundred miles to see us. And that's we amazing. had no idea. Yeah. Was, so you had a great turnout there too. Oh yes. Oh that's fantastic. And and the kickoff to the tour was wonderful because Dark Horse released the final issue of Final Quest 40 years to the day on February 28th, 2018, yes. after ElfQuest appeared. So we had a big, huge, <laughs> wonderful signing at uh, one of the uh, Things from Another World stores. Right. And uh, then we hit a bunch of cities and a bunch of conventions, and it was a love fest. And uh, Well, the fan reaction to the final issue of Final Quest was highly emotional. Yes, and it was a very <laughs> emotional issue. <laughs> How long had you planned it? Did you kind of have the ending in mind from the beginning? 20 years ahead of time, oh, yeah. we did the treatment for the end of the story. And so we had to keep the secret of how it was going to end for right. 20 years. Well, you did a great job. I'm impressed. Uh, that's a long time to keep a big secret like that. <laughs> but we planted yeah. clues all through those books that we put out during those 20 years. Yeah. So now the fans are going back and rereading the whole series to try and find those clues. Pick them all up. Did yeah. anybody actually pick them up while it was happening? Not a people, single fan people guessed the end. <laughs> Nobody guessed the ending. But people over the years did say, I wonder what this is about, and then forgot about it. Right. Mm -hmm. And then 20 years later, or 15 years later, they went, so that's what that meant. Yeah. Very good. Oh, that's very clever. Um, so now that we have completed the final quest, how can you tell us what your next step is? We announced a new comic series recently, so um, the next one begins in November. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what that will be all about? Well. You see, when we announced Final Quest with Dark Horse, fan reaction was, final? Yeah. What do you mean final? Of Does course. this mean that Elf Quest is coming to an end? And we knew the answer was no, because we'd already done stories set in the future. But it was very dramatic. Right. Um, final Quest concluded, but we always knew there was another series coming immediately after. And this one, because it couldn't center on Cutter anymore, because he had completed his, his hero's journey. This one was going to center on his best friend, companion, advisor, Skywise. And it's an eight-issue series. Skywise's personal quest is not complete. And that's what Stargazer's Hunt is all about. Yes, even though Cutter's entire storyline was completely resolved in Final Quest. There's a lot with Skywise that's unresolved. And it also involves his daughter, correct? Yes. Yeah. The fabulous Jink. Jink. <laughs> you know what her name means? I do not. It's, well, it's a word. It's, it's an actual word. It's a real word. word. Oh. Um, I think I was the one who came up with that. I think you were. <laughs> um, I was reading a story about uh, World War One dogfighting airplanes and when the airplanes would make these sudden movements oh. it was called jinking okay. and jink 
doesn't teleport from one place to another. It just moves very quickly from one place to yeah. another. Faster so, than the eye can see. So okay. what better name yeah. to give her? I, that's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for revealing that latest secret. <laughs> Our only quiz. problem is people. A lot of people think it's Jinx. Right. I'm sure that and, will come up And we up keep a lot. going, jink, 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 not jinx. Right. <laughs> well, now I know to make sure to check all of our copy to yes. make sure that doesn't happen. Okay. Yes. If it, if it does, it's probably autocorrect, and I apologize in advance. <laughs> jink. Okay. Um, now we know what it means, and yes. so we'll see what happens with her and Skywise in this new series. Well, she's, she's a really powerful character, and Sunny and Richard and I are handling her very delicately because... She's a really unusual female character. She's not a superhero, although she has powers, and she's also completely free. I don't, I don't think in the world of comics there is a female character who is completely free of baggage, as Jink is. <laughs> she doesn't have a sad past. She doesn't have any Harley Quinn type hang-ups. Okay. She doesn't, you know, she's. And so we, we are taking this character who's almost like an angel and exposing her to uh, different things she's never experienced before. And it, it's wonderful to take a character that free and have the conflict of how she reacts to human behavior or even elves like the Wolf Riders who are so different from her. That's fascinating. I'm very excited to see where this series goes. So are we. Yeah, so eight issues to start, and you mentioned Sonny Strait. Yes. So yes. could you tell us a little bit about um, what his role is on this series? Well, uh, Sonny's name is famous to many fans because he is several voices for many, many years on the show Dragon Ball Z. Right. He's also an animation writer and director. He has. He was also involved in the independent comics movement. He had his own uh, titles, and he did uh, uh, most recently one for we uh, for Tokyo Pop called We Shadows. So he is a Renaissance man, <laughs> and it just so happened that I was his fan, and he was our fan because he grew up reading ElfQuest, and I was a big Dragon Ball Z fan. That's how we met, and. When I saw that he could draw our characters on model, I asked him if he'd like to work for us, and I don't think he thought about it for half a second. <laughs> yeah, you know. He, so. he he was so good and so interested and so committed yeah. that he not only wanted to work for Wendy for Elfquest, he was willing to apprentice with yeah. her for oh, wow. a couple of years, yeah. learning her techniques and secrets. And that all comes home to roost now in the beautiful work that he's doing for yeah. Stargazer's Hunt. What I have seen of issue one does look very true to your original form. And I think, I mean, the fan reaction that I've seen so far has been extremely positive. So I think we're all very excited to see what is next for ElfQuest. And thank you again for joining us today. Are you going to be doing some more touring for this new series at all this year? Oh. Or are you going to take a break after well, the whirlwind we of last year? We, we are doing a signing. Uh, yeah. In, uh, um, I mean, this year is almost done. The uh, first issue premieres on November 13th. Yeah. And a couple of days after that, we've set up a signing at Golden Apple okay. in Los Angeles, big comic shop there that we've been associated with them forever. Um, but then we're going to let the holidays happen and Good. see what 2020 brings. Right. Should so be interesting. into next year, we'll see perhaps some more appearances. Oh, yeah, any opportunity to promote and support. And uh, we are really grateful to Dark Horse for the way they always work with us. Well, we appreciate that you come and join us. It's always wonderful oh. to have you. And I love seeing your fans, and they come dressed in Elfquest cosplay. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's precious. It is. <laughs> <laughs> there were some spectacular ones at San Diego. Yes, there were some amazing costumes there. Did you have any particular favorites? I think there was a young lady who did Lita with the wonderful hair. I remember and her. Dance skirt, and it yes. was detail perfect. Oh. So if you come in Elfquest cosplay, absolutely make sure to come to their signings at the Dark Horse booth. We always will post our signing schedule online. Um, this time they are here at our booth. It's 1554 at New York Comic Con, um, and it's going to be at 6 p.m. tonight. And so if you're in cosplay, absolutely. And even if you're not, come say hello and meet the peenies and uh, join us for yet another
celebration of ElfQuest. Thank you again so much for joining us. I won't keep you from getting to your signing, which is coming up pretty soon, but um, hopefully we'll see you again at the next show. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.